Hi guys, welcome to our channel Humpty Dumpty 2. In today's video, I will be talking about travel to Canada. If it is allowed for people who received their co-PR before 18th of March 2020 and their co-PR has expired or they already hold co-PR which is about to expire in next few months and also people who hold permanent resident visa. So there are a lot of travel restrictions and a lot of rules and regulations released by uh, Canada government on how people can travel, who can travel and what are the restrictions etc. So in this video we will be talking about that. So guys before we start if you haven't subscribed to our channel then do consider subscribing to our channel because we create videos on Canada PR, our Canada PR experience and the latest news released by Canada. So let's get started. Anybody who holds Canada co-PR which was provided before or on 18th of March 2020 is eligible to travel to Canada. Only restriction is people are allowed only if they're planning to move permanently that is they're planning to settle in Canada and not for soft landing. So what is soft landing? Soft landing is a term which is basically coined by people who hold Canada PR. It's nothing like official, but it means that people who hold Canada co-PR and they are not planning to uh, settle permanently in Canada, but they visit Canada just to complete all the formalities, get their PR, SIN number, etc. And once everything is done, they come back to their home country. It's nothing like they move to Canada permanently, but they prefer coming back to their home country and they plan to move to Canada later in maybe next one year or two years or so forth. So this is called soft landing. Now considering the COVID situation, the pandemic right now, although things in Canada are opening up and a uh, number of cases are also less, but Canada is really not encouraging people to come for soft landing, do their formalities and go back to their home country. Canada is open for people who hold co-PR received before or on 18th of March 2020, but you need to come to Canada only for permanent settlement. It's nothing like you come for 15 days, 20 days, complete your quarantine period and go back to your home country. So as for the latest information, Canada has released the news uh, stating four different situations which people might be in and on basis of that people can travel to Canada based on their non-discretionary reasons. So I'll tell you what are those situations and we'll have a look at them right now. So the first situation is you hold a valid co-PR or PRV and you're traveling to Canada from any other country other than the US. So for you to travel, there are three important things that you need to consider here is there is no travel restriction on you. That is, uh, you don't have any stamping for being in existing quarantine, etc. You should have received your co-PR on or before 18th of March 2020 and you're traveling to Canada only for non-discretionary reasons. Third is you should have a proper quarantine plan for 14 days. So when you will be at the airport or at the cross borders, you will be asked where will be your temporary residence for 14 days where you will be staying in isolation so that uh, you follow proper quarantine rules. And uh, after 14 days, what is your next action plan? Basically, where will you move for your future residence? Also, they will ask you questions on how you plan to survive for next 14 days. Example, how will you manage your groceries or daily requirements? because you will not be allowed to come out of your house. So you should have proper uh, answers to these questions. And also uh, one more thing to highlight here, quarantine rules are actually quite strict in Canada. So if you are found to be not following any of the rules, there are proper and good hefty amount of fines which will be relied on you. So make sure you follow all the rules and you are aware of everything and anything actually. Next is people who hold valid co-PR and PRV and are traveling from US. So these people are allowed to travel from the US considering three important conditions that there is no travel restriction on them. Second is uh, they are traveling for non-discretionary reasons. And third is they should have a proper plan how they are planning to quarantine themselves for next 14 days. Uh, and also uh, Canada government is quite strict. So if you are in that uh, residence for 14 days, there will be proper checks. You know, there can be somebody who might be visiting to your place. Uh, every two or three days just to check that if you're following all the quarantine rules and also they might call you on your temporary number that you provide to them that uh, you know you're following the strict rules and uh, abiding the quarantine policies now third is if your uh, co-pr is expired 
and you are planning to travel to Canada. So in this case, even if your co-PR is expired, Canada government has released that you can travel to Canada. So you need to provide proper documents of your settlement in Canada. Do you already hold a rented property or you have somebody who is already living in Canada that, Canada that you will stay with or you already have a residence. So you need to provide all that information and then you have to provide your 14 day quarantine period plan that what is your plan during the quarantine period and then uh, you should have a proposed travel itinerary that means that you should provide proper planning that is what dates you are planning to travel to canada where you will be staying what will be your permanent residence which airbnb etc that you might be staying and how will you manage your groceries how will you manage your daily course when you are in canada for this you need to provide all the details to ircc basically you need to fill a web form so once you fill your web form, your web form will be uh, directed to the immigration office and they will evaluate all the details that you've provided and based on your details and their criteria, they will uh, give you a confirmation that you are ready to travel. Next is if you have your uh, copier already expired and you are traveling from the US. So in this case also, you should have a valid copier provided on or before 18th of March. And then the reason for your travel with a 14 day quarantine plan, how you're planning to uh, stay in Canada for next 14 days and your application must be improved that you're ready to travel to Canada from US. So these are the four major situations that CIC has listed on their website. So I'll put the link in the description box. You can have a look at it in detail also. So in the nutshell, Canada is really not encouraging people to come for soft landing. That is basically to come and complete their formalities and then go back to their home country. There are many people right now who are stuck in India or in their home country. They hold their copia which might be expired or which would be expiring in coming months and they need to complete their formalities that is uh, getting the PR uh, card and then SIN number etc so that they don't lose their Canada PR but guys these, this is the information available on uh, CIC website uh, and I understand even we are in the same situation that nobody wants to leave the current job and then move to Canada jobless because the market doesn't look that promising there are not enough jobs to absorb people uh, so it's not a good time to take risk actually so cic might come up with more information by end of this month for people uh, for whom the copr is expiring in next few months but right now this is the only information available so if your copr is expired then you are uh, allowed to travel it's just that you need to provide proper details and information to cic to process your request and also for many people for whom the copier was expiring in uh, june or july and they could not travel to canada they've already applied for extension to cic with proper details and their applications are in process so there's really nothing to lose hope or worry about canada government will keep on releasing information and more clarity at present the travel restrictions are till 31st august let's see by end of this month how the travel restrictions are lifted and what will be the new action plan for people who hold co-PR and planning to move to Canada for soft landing or maybe permanent residence. So I'll keep you posted in our next videos once we receive more uh, information from Canada or we hear more on this from Canada CIC and I'll keep making more videos. So if you have any questions then do leave a comment for us and we will love to come back to you. And also if you found this video helpful then do give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. And also click on the bell icon so that you get a notification of all the videos that we are posting. So that's it for now. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. Till then you stay safe, stay home, take care, goodbye.